Hello, Dale from Arc Hi-Fi. Well, I'm making the decision, a decision I have to make. I'm selling my audio gear. I was a teenager and I had my first real audio system. I used to dream about having that big huge rack of gear like I would see in old stereo review magazines. Huge Macintosh monoblock amps with the big blue meters. Huge infinity like speakers. Large turntable, preamp, equalizers, reel to reels big Nakamichi tape decks and I kind of carried that with me thinking eventually I will have this huge one day massive sound system. Here of late I've been more on a minimalist kick where that's not really appealing anymore. By audiophile standards my, my system is pretty much a mid-fi system especially when you're comparing it to speakers or uh, speakers or amplifiers that are hundreds of thousands of dollars. Even speaker cables can be a hundred thousand dollars. But I'm finding myself, especially when thumbing through Instagram and seeing some of the minimalist systems where it's just the integrated amp and a turntable and a nice set of speakers on a very stylish rack. That's, I'm finding that more appealing versus, you know, a hundred components with gobs of wires and cables crisscrossing, a bunch of remote controls. So I've decided I'm going to go the integrated amp route and I want to go a high quality integrated amp. So uh, my plan is to sell my current gear except for the turntable and except for the speakers. I love my Zoo speakers. And put that money towards a, a a really nice integrated amp and maybe add some extra cash so I can get up to a nice level of integrated amp. And I prefer one that has a built-in high quality phono pre. I wouldn't mind a DAC in an integrated amp as long as it's upgradable. Like the Macintosh and AccuPhase integrateds have uh, the option of sliding in updated DAC cards once they become available. Right now I'm kind of leaning towards Luxman. I love Japanese made products. Uh, they have Class A components. Well, they're phasing out Class A components, but they still have a couple models left that they're still producing. Plus, there's there's some used ones or demos out there that I'm I'm leaning towards. Class A lower watt, 30 watt per channel components. My Zoo speakers are between 96, 101 dB efficient. So you know, 30 watts drives them pretty good. AccuPhase has some nice Class A integrated. Pass Labs does too, but with Pass Labs you just basically get a pre and an amp combined. No other uh, features like tone controls, uh, phono preamps. So Pass is on my list, but we'll see. I just took my PS Audio BHK preamp, which is an excellent preamp. Took it out of my system went ahead and placed it for sale. I got it boxed up, ready to go for when I sell it. I don't expect to sell it for a while. And I don't expect to replace, uh, to get a new integrated for a while. So in the meantime, I'm using this $49 shit passive preamp. It's got two inputs and it's doing a job. It actually sounds really good for 49 bucks. So basically I'm, uh, I got my DAC and my Turntable phono pre connected to this going directly into my first watt. And I have to say, it sounds pretty good. The sound stage is a little more narrow compared to when I had the BHK uh, PS Audio preamp in the system. Obviously, the gain is lower because it's passive. I got some long cables, so, and plus I'm splitting it uh, with a Y cable into the subwoofer, so that probably brings the gain down. But I can list at comfortable levels, and it's handy to have, you know. In case I'm changing preamps or have to send something in to repair. So I'm real happy with it for the time being. But I would really like to get a, um, 
a Luxman integrated, AccuPhase, possibly one of the Macintosh. I looked at the new Technics uh, SR RU1000. I don't know. Um, you know, it's real digital. It's got great reviews. That's a possibility, maybe. You know, Luxman has a great reputation. I just love Japanese components and the quality. And hopefully I can find a Luxman. If I, if I can't get a hold of a Class A Luxman, you know, they have the, um, is it the 509X, I believe? Class AB, and it's got some great reviews. And, and the uh, Phono preamps have great reviews as well. Now, the Luxmans don't have a DAC, but I'm okay keeping, keeping my current, uh, you know, project DAC. It doesn't take a lot of shelf space up. But I would like to get rid of the, um, you know, the amp, and even my Phono preamp, and just have the DAC and uh, turntable and an integrated amp. My CD player, my Oppo CD player, I haven't played a CD on this thing in probably four years. And I don't play SACDs any. I only use this thing to rip my SACDs into DSD files. I have it connected to my network using the Sonari uh, Super Audio Disc ripping software. And what I would probably do is take this and put it back in my, my server area and have it on the network. And if I need it, I just take the disc in there and rip it. And I like to get a little stylish, a little less profile rack that looks really nice. And then I'll do something with the walls with sound uh, damping panels and I may put a different texture on the wall. So I'm gonna slowly but surely start selling the stuff off. And then hopefully here within a couple months, I can uh, obtain a, uh, a nice integrated I can live with and um, that I enjoy and go from there. So what are your thoughts? Uh, have you gone to an integrated from separates or, or the other way around? What are your thoughts on uh, about my decision to go integrated? And if you have gone integrated, what kind of amp and speakers do you have? I'd like to get some input. Also hit like, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already, plus follow us on Instagram. So until next week, take care. Mm -hmm.